Hi, my name is Lukas. I am Kasia. And we are Podróżowani, which means in Polish, traveling. And we are from Poland. This video is sponsored by Dylan McAster. Check out our new channel by clicking the link and be sure to subscribe. We were both making careers. So we still feel kind of not happy, not full happy. And I was thinking what we can do. I was looking for some calling, life calling. And in 2017, I decided to go for uh, solo travel. I chose um, Camino de Santiago and I had this bliss uh, of freedom, of happiness. And I thought I want to live like that. And then I went back to Bristol to my everyday routine. And after a few months, Lucas called me to our house office and showed me some videos. Yeah, so I was sitting in the office. I watched a video with the billionaire from Dubai and he has everything, but he wasn't happy. So he decided to change his life. He sold everything. He bought a van, a Volkswagen T4, and he started traveling. And I said to my wife, Kasia, I would like to do the same. Before this video, I didn't know nothing about the van life. We send a notice to our landlord. Uh, we resigned from the renting our home. We sold all our furniture. We bought uh, this van and we converted to the camper van. But we decided to buy a van in Poland uh, because it's much cheaper and we are Polish. I asked my brother because he's a mechanic and he found this Volkswagen LT35. He sent me the picture and I was like, I, this is too big for me. But Kasia, she said, listen, we need big space because we're gonna leave this, this is gonna be our home. And I said, okay, let's, let's go and check this car. And he went there and he said, this is like perfect condition, we should buy it straight away. Uh, we paid like $4,000 for the van. So we bought a van in February 2018 and we started doing the conversion in April. And it took two months, like fully two months of work. The total cost of buying a van and convert to the camper van, it cost uh, less than $8,000 US dollars in Poland. We, but that's why we decided to buy, buy and build in Poland because it's quite cheaper. So this is our van. This is Volkswagen LT35 from 2002. Uh, it has 2.5 turbo diesel engine and we bought the van from the guy he has like the company he produced the windows and the car was used only for the special special delivery so they didn't use that much from that point we made like 50 almost 50 km 50000 kilometers without any problems without any brakes so this is perfect car for van life we are in, now in our cockpit and this is like super comfy chair this is pneumatic chair so uh, when we drove like the bumpy way uh, i'm like uh, swimming <laughs> this is a super comfy chair here we add a external electric hookup let's go back now and i will show you our garage which is like super big super super big our garage is like four more than four square meters is like a lot two, two, two meters long so we we have enough space to storage our stuff. We have the folding bikes. We actually bought them a few months ago in Bosnia. Over there we have two uh, propane bottles. Two because one is connected to the fridge. The second one is connected to the stove. We need four bottles for whole year. And this box is for our shopping, like like food, extra food. And this is a very important stuff. We bought this few months ago. This is the humidifier. And when it's ra very raining and we, we feel there is a big humi lots of humidity in a van, so we switch on this one and it works amazing. And we don't have shower in our van, but we have an external shower. So before we move, move to the van, uh, we put the um, special plug for 12 watt and this is our shower actually we put some hot water to the bucket and we use the, the external shower but normally we took a shower on the gas station or campings when we bought the van there was no windows here but we decided to add one windows because we didn't want to uh, live in like in the can uh, so my brother helps me and we cut the, uh, the hole. Uh, on the roof we have solar panel, it's 270 watt solar panel. It's connected with uh, our batteries. We have two uh, 100 amperes each. 
So in total there is like 200 amperes and it's enough to charge our batteries, laptops, we can work, we can, we can, we can use everything what we, what we need. Welcome in our van. I'm so happy to have you here. So inside, uh, our focus was to keep a lot of space. We really want to have possibility to stand up, to walk inside. And I think we managed to do it. We can invite lots of people. We can dance here, throw a party. We're really happy about it. Here we've got a wall. It's really tiny wall and it has as well a door. So we can go inside the cab. What is really cool about it, even though it's really thin, it keeps the temperature there. So because there's lots of uh, windows, in the summer it's lots of heat there. In the winter it's quite cold, but this world managed to keep it there. And here you see this funny thing. This is actually a diesel heater. We've got a Chinese version, which is much more cheaper and it actually works perfectly for us. Uh, the controller for it is here. And here we've got as well a controller of humidity. We in our van like it low. Above the wall, we've created a big and deep um, shelf. Here we keep some open space just uh, for uh, everyday stuff. And underneath uh, starts our wardrobe. It's quite big. Uh, we have a lot of clothes <laughs> like for minimalists. It allows us to do laundry like once a month, which is really uh, useful and helpful. So Lucas and, uh, has a one shelf. This one is mine. This one is divided on half. And on the bottom, we've got lots of hanging stuff. And I need to admit that this is mostly my stuff. And we keep mirror there as well, so we can check how it looks. This is our sink. It's a full-size sink. It's a normal sink from the house. Uh, it works on electric pump and we got just cold water. Uh, we've got two water tanks. Um, they, con they contain 35 liters of fresh water each. And here, I love this feature. This is a coffee table. It's small, really useful. While it's inside, it holds the tanks in. Normally we use it for uh, uh, working on laptops, watching Netflix, sometimes when we are outside and we make a picnic, it's there for us as well. So if you wonder where is our grey water tank, we have it underneath the car. Uh, Lucas made this uh, change because at the beginning it was inside, but during the summer we discovered that sometimes the water doesn't smell nice and it's actually really easy to use as well. Let's move to the top. Uh, here is our cupboard. We keep here cosmetics. Uh, here we keep uh, our bread, some snacks. And in this one we keep uh, coffees, teas, some spare mugs for our friends. We've got our stove. It's actually possible to move it from here. Uh, at the beginning, our journey, we thought we we're gonna cook outside as well. We had like small uh, gas bottle and we imagined like we will be cooking in nature, but to be honest, it never happened. <laughs> we always cook inside. Here we've got a really big counter. I wanna show you something really cool. I bought it in Ikea. This is like magnet clip and it's so useful in a van. So for example, we've got one wet towel. We can clip it and then we can put it outside of our van uh, like this. So because we really love Portugal, we want to have these uh, super colorful tires as well inside, but to not uh, make the car so heavy, we choose the stickers. And you can find really similar pattern as well on our floor. It's a PVC floor, really easy to maintain. So underneath, uh, we've got cabinet with our electricity. This is where the magic happened. And next to it, we've got our fridge. It's really big. What is really cool about this fridge, uh, it can work with electricity or with gas. So normally when we drive, we use electricity because uh, engine supports our battery. And when we stop, we change it for uh, gas. So behind me, here is our secret place. This is where we keep our toilet. It's porta potty, designed for a campers. And then we move to this side. This is our tiny sofa, which is actually made of two wooden baskets. When I remove the like, tiny mattresses, we've got here as well some oils, pasta, oats, yerba mate. So we can here create as well a tiny office space. We can move this box there. At the cushions back. And at the table.
And this is where we work, where we eat, where we spend some time. We used to live in a flat where we had a folding bed, like sofa, and it was just always open. We really hated folding it. So we decided we want to have our bed always ready for us. And above it, we've got two sets of cupboards. On this side, there are mine cupboards. On this side, there are Lucas. And we've got personal stuff there. A few months ago, Lucas made as well this tiny shelving there. We keep mostly books there, some gaming cards. And here we've got like tiny altar. We are Christians and this icon is really special for Lucas. So he knew he has to have it in the van. And this is like our tiny special space. In the van life, there is a problem with your clothes when they wrinkle. So we've got this uh, spray. So when you want to have them straight and iron, it's just you spray the, your t-shirt or whatever. And after a while, when it dries, it makes it straight. And it's like game changer. At the beginning, we were quite worried about the money. Uh, because we had savings only for eight months and we decided to go and then we maybe we'll find some job maybe we can like who work on a farm or but we don't need to do that we can work online so we have laptop uh, sim card uh, for the internet and that's it we are connected with the world since we start our journey since we start our conversion we create videos about it we start the youtube channel and after one year it allow us to earn some money via our youtube channel i have a message to everyone if you think about the van life you should do it because you're not gonna lose everything anything you can quit your job and you're not gonna lose your skills you're still gonna be the same person and after van life you can get much more experience you can meet uh, people in the road and you can learn a lot of stuff languages and the cultures and this is this is amazing i think now it's perfect time for a van life because uh, it's never been like that before in the world the borders are open we know the languages we can learn everything from the internet and I think it's perfect opportunity. And you can work and there's so many options to make money online now. So, so it's like, it's totally worth yeah. it. Thank you for watching this week's episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And if you really love what we create here at Floor, we're working hard to bring you more, better, higher quality content. And so if you would like to support us, consider clicking the link in the description and joining the community on Patreon and you can support the channel through that. So if you love what we do, consider checking out our Patreon page and thank you for watching. Have a great week. Big love. Peace out.